Guru Nation, happy Thanksgiving. I wish each and every one of you a very happy holidays coming up and especially Thanksgiving. I might do another video later tonight. Um, what I'm thankful for about our industry, two minute one. This one's, look, it's coming from somebody who's a job recruiter that wants to remain anonymous, but they end it with a lot of these candidates that I interview uh, and have interviewed followed you and I want you to convey this message to them while keeping me anonymous so here's the here it goes let me read it guys especially for you foreign MDs but really applies to anybody I have interviewed several people from foreign MDs to those that possess only an associate's degree or both North American and European candidates I cannot tell you how many times I have been told that the CRA role is one's dream job or they remain under the illusion that they have a better chance to score the CRA job given their higher education. On several occasions, I have asked them if they have thought about volunteering, interning at a site, to which some have said, hmm, never thought about that. I'm telling you guys, dude, this is the way to go. Um, so, many of those are also under the impression that completing several online courses will give them a better chance at a job. They convince themselves that this is in fact the best way. This is not always true, especially when one is applying to big CROs. Note that people from foreign countries have been brought up to believe that more accolades they have, the better they are at securing a job. Again, not always the case. Unfortunately, these individuals are not able to apply what they've learned to a scenario presented to them or are unable to think critically because they lack the concept. They will memorize and all they have learned, uh, but unable to apply it. Notice I said not always true because some actually end up getting entry level CRA positions or CTA, but God forbid, because they lack sufficient experience in a specific therapeutic areas. I've also interviewed several individuals that already work as CRC. When I ask them about IP accountability or essential documents, they can't answer, that's crazy. But they write these responsibilities on the CVs. So if they can't explain what's on their CV, they should probably not put it up there. Why am I bringing this up? A lot of the candidates I interviewed follow you. Here, guys, stop doing this, okay? First of all, don't lie on your CVs. Second of all, really, there's nothing wrong with starting in research at the ground level, and that's usually the site level. The research site level is the way to go intern at the site. I don't care what your skill set is, there's a site in your area that would love to have you intern there, but it's a framing issue. It's a matter of how you position yourself. What can you bring to the site? What can you do? Can you get them more studies? Watch my webinars on how to, how to get studies for sites or how to attempt to get study opportunities for sites using clinicaltrials.gov. Can you create source documents for them? Can you enter data in EDC? Can you manage a Facebook page, Instagram page, a TikTok page for the site? Can you create these things for the site? Can you help them with community outreach? Can you pass out flyers and put them on car windshields and parking lots of Walmart? Can you find other clinicians in the community and get them interested in referring patients? This is what it takes to get your foot in the door at a research site. Yes, it's not glamorous to work for free or to intern, and I understand you might have higher degrees in other countries or even in this country. I'm telling you, this mindset, if you take it and apply it, sites will want to keep you. Right now, the industry is as busy as it's ever been. Sites need you, but they don't want risk up front for themselves. So they want free work for like a month. Sometimes it's a week, and then they'll offer you a salary, a low salary, but they'll offer you a salary. Then you can actually do these things, put them on your CV, then you can actually go out there and continue leveling up your career. Do you think anybody in this industry got in? Everybody at this, at some point, everybody who's in the industry right now has gotten in with zero research experience. That's generally not because they lied. That's because they worked their way or they lucked their way into it. Courses, look, you're talking to somebody who owns several courses, CRC Academy, CRA Academy. Courses won't do anything for you unless they can provide you with real internship opportunity, which my CRA and CRC Academies both do, with real studies. 
and put you in touch with real sites in your area. Otherwise, education is just education without practical application, which is what this job recruiter is saying. Memorizing facts doesn't do anything. Critical thinking, solving problems is not about memorizing. It's about knowing how to handle certain situations based on research fundamentals. Again, I don't want to shill my academies. You guys can do it without my academies if you go find internships yourself. But I'd rather you do my academy than pay for someone else's when I know mine's going to give you actual internship experience. And then you don't need to lie about what's on your resume because you're going to know what you're doing. Ask my interns. They're struggling writing these reports right now. The struggle is where they grow. The struggle are things they can talk about in their interviews. So find a site near you. Intern. Find 10 sites near you. Approach them all. Think about what you're offering them. It's not enough to just say, I'm here to work for free and to learn. You need to bring something first. Guru Nation, you can do it. Make it your goal before the year's over to get this done. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.